good day to you. Today the Lord's word and mission was that, were, that he is very ready to work with his church. He is the Lord uh, of the armies, Yahweh both, An angelic action is ready and waiting to move with the Lord's church. We know the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. Psalm 34, 7. And we know from Hebrews 1, 11, angels are appointed as uh, servants of the heir, to the heirs of salvation. And from Matthew 18, chapter verse 2, we know that the angel of the Lord beholds the face of the Father on behalf of the children of God. That's how closely angelic action is on. And then Psalm 103, uh, says how the angels wait to hear the voice of his word to go and do the bidding of the word of God but we must speak the word of God by faith uh, that's how the word gets activated Psalm 103 verse 21 Psalm 103 uh, verse uh, 19 the Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his sovereignty rules over all how Bless the Lord, you his angels, mighty in strength, who perform his word. So, they are waiting to perform God's word. And God's people on earth apply God's word, proclaim God's word, decree and declare God's word for their city, for their nation, for their family, for their wealth, for their health, for the salvation of their loved ones. So, you take action with the word of God. And this Psalm 103 verse 20 says, the angels mighty in strength who perform his word obeying the voice of his word so angels must hear over a nation over your city over your neighborhood over your family over your oikos over your police station over your hospital over everywhere you go they must hear the voice of your word you who bless the lord all you his hosts you who serve him doing his will and when we speak the will of God, angels go and do the will of God. This is so for healing also. So we pray at this time, the ICU anointing will come for healing. And God washes diabetes, anointing will come for healing of diabetes. And, and we are the secret place of the Most High. And the shadow of the Almighty spreads all around us. And this anointing keeps COVID out. So different angelic actions. Bless the Lord, all you works of his. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord of my soul. So as, as angels hear the voice of his word and his will in our mouth, in our proclamation, we take faith for the word of God because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. So the word of Christ when spoken in faith, by the child of God, there's executive action. Angels are waiting to go do the word. But we I have to give the word. We, we don't do, go do the word. Angels go do the word and we have to proclaim the word. Of course, there are things we can also do. A kindly acts and everything else that goes on with the kingdom of God and with the great commission. But this is how angels will interact with us in this season very particularly. So we know in Genesis 32, that's the chapter in which Jacob crosses over Yabok, Jabok, 32-22. Now he arose that same night and his, uh, he came to and crossed the ford of Jabok. So that his former life of manipulation, trouble with Laban, Laban troubles him and he twists the arm of Laban, you know what he was going on with his father-in-law and his name was Jacob. And from his mother's womb, he had been twisting the uh, ankle of his uh, brother who popped out before him. That was Jacob's nature. But he crossed Jabbok and that became Peniel. God met with him and changed him. Angelic action. So this is the context today, that the Lord is waiting for his church to arise. Then who knows, that the Lord will come with a live coal of fire, as he came for Isaiah, the year, the year Uzziah died. And the live coal of uh, fire came upon the tongue of Isaiah, taking him up to the next season. So Isaiah, as the live coal of fire happened, he said, look at me, I'm a man of unclean lips, and look who's around me, and they're also unclean. And he was set up 
for next what God has for him. And he said, who, Lord says, who will go? And I said, I said, I will go. This is the action, angelic action, taking you to the next part of your great commission, taking you to the next part of your mission. So Amy Carmichael said it like this, we are in a plateau and we are walking and then comes a rock face. So many people wait down here. They say, that's it, nothing more, it's very difficult. But those who go up to the rock face, they begin to see the footsteps of Jesus. This is Amy Carmichael. And then we get to the next place. Then from that place, there's another rock face, we get to the next place. So from season to season, from faith to faith, anointing to anointing, grace to grace, we keep moving on with the Lord. Yes, that's how angelic action helps. Then we remember... He will apply, I salve on our eyes, yes. And Elisha said, Lord, let my servant see what I see. He was so terrified by COVID. No, Gehazi was not terrified by COVID. Gehazi was terrified by the Syrian army. And Elisha said, let my servant see what I see. And God opened Gehazi's eyes. And, and there was the angelic action of myriads of ch chariots of fire surrounding Elisha. So they said, they that are with us are more than they that are with them. So in this time of COVID fear, please don't feed yourself with misinformation, disinformation, or even with information. Uh, uh, do, the, do the government health rules, and then don't go on endless clips and endless television shows in this time. Get into the vision of God, where God has a launch for you. And we Christians, when believers arise and see vision with God, God begins to act. God acts in the light of his vision, in the parameters of his word, light of his vision. God acts in the rhema and God acts in the chaos time. So wait for that time, early morning, wake up at five o'clock at least, and by six o'clock you'll hear a mobilization. You'll hear the rustle upon the mulberry tree. As David heard when he was about to go to war with Philistines, his first war, angels came. Uh, so he, they will come for us also to roll the rocks, angels will come. Then who knows, there might be a Saul of Tarsus on the way to Damascus to harass the church and the glory hit him. He falls down to the ground. So who is the Saul of Tarsus in your town, in your city? Expect the glory to come upon him. Angelic action. When you are in prayer, Stephen's final prayer worked on Paul, Saul of Tarsus, and he turned to Christ. And Christ says, who I, do you know who you are persecuting? I am the Lord Jesus, yes. So Paul immediately remembered the last persecution. Saul of Tarsus became Paul the apostle. So this is the angelic action. And if there's a herod trying to trouble the church, angels will take action. And then when the church, when, and Cornelius, the centurion of Caesarea, the most important town at that time for the Roman army, so he must have been a very important person. He sees a vision, go call Simon, Peter who's called Simon, Simon who's called Peter. And just that time, Peter is fasting and praying. So when you are fasting and praying church, God causes visions to go, opens heavens and understanding of people in power. Then they come asking for you. Expect this to happen. The busiest man in your town, the biggest man in your city, wanting you to come and minister. Can you believe this? This is angelic action. This is the miraculous that is open for us in the heavenly places. Oh Lord, bless us. Oh Lord, bless us. Oh Lord, bless us. In Jesus' name. Yes, uh, there's many other angelic actions that are available. But let's read from uh, Genesis 32. Every way that angelic action was there in the New Testament church, every way there was angelic action in the Old Testament, God will work it out again. And God will see a Gideon toiling away and he will come and call you uh, to do much more than you think you can do. That's the help of angels. Bless, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Praise His holy name. Once upon a time, we were in a mission house in a village in Sri Lanka, very small, Watland Orb House. And many people have seen around our house a flame of fire going around the house. Angelic action. And they will come and work for us. And the miraculous healing anointing. God washes diabetes anointing. Yes. God, God, the, the angels come and do miraculous healing actions. Yes, 
So let's get ready for that time. So I read to you Genesis 32 and Jacob meeting God. I will not let you go unless you bless me. Genesis 38 verse 26. What is your name? Your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel. For you have striven with God and with men have prevailed. So Jacob ceased to be Jacob the grabber, usurper. He became a prince with God, Israel. Then Jacob asked him and said, please tell me your name. So Jacob named the place Peniel, for he said, I have seen God face to face, yet my life has been preserved. So expect the Lord uh, to come through to you and you'll be in the visions of God, your future, your prosperity, the expanse God has for you. We will see. It is not a human negotiation. Don't say I'm small, I'm powerless. Paul said to the Corinthian church, not many of you are educated, powerful, or, or noble, but God used you anyway. Yes. So that's how it's going to happen. So Jacob named the place Peniel. I've seen God face to face. Now the sun arose upon him, just as he crossed over Penuel. And so that's the new day. What is ahead of him, he's promised that he'll become a father of the nation of Israel. And what was behind Jabbok was behind Jabbok. This is the season of crossover, crossover from Jabbok uh, to Penuel and Jacob to Israel. God bless you and keep you encouraged, energized for the holy anointing, the supernatural. And you know, Elisha, Elijah did not have food to eat and he commanded ravens to come and feed Elijah. So if there are people who are keeping everything to themselves and eating other, other people's things also, like ravens, such businessmen will be commanded by the Lord to bring provision to the servant of the Lord. Please believe that there is a supernatural machination, supernatural movement to make the church of Jesus Christ equipped for the time that is ahead. God bless you. And whoever is the president of USA, we have our preferences. I have mine. You'll probably guess what that is. But God is still on the throne and he keeps all his own. Yes, God is still on the throne. He will not forget his own. Yes. And the Lord today revealed Genesis 19 to another brother, my prayer associate. Uh, he also got the same thing, uh, Pastor Raja. That was from Genesis 19, how the Lord took Lot by his hand. So God will send angels at this time to cities that are full of sodomy and evil and iniquity and take his righteous. He will look for 10 people, then the whole city can be saved just because of 10 people. If not, he will t lead his righteous away and they will be saved. So to one of two operations, this is the angelic time of Lot, like people and Sodom like cities. If there are 10 righteous that God can find according to Abraham's intercession, the city will be saved. Somehow miracles will happen. But even if that critical mass number is not there, God saves his own. So Genesis chapter 19, uh, verse 17, verse 16. But he hesitated, Lot hesitated after all this. So the man seized his hand and the head of his wife, and of his wife, and the hands of his two daughters, for the compassion of the Lord was upon him. And they brought him out and put him outside the city. So this is a prophecy for the cities of the nations. If that city is that sinful, that there isn't a t 10 people remnant who are holding on to God and to the supernatural, that city, if there are 10 people holding on to God and the supernatural, that city can be saved. It's as, it's as uh, gracious as that. But if that ten is not there, then God will lead those who can be saved out and destruction, supernatural retribution coming. So you decide for your city, supernatural redemption or default is supernatural retribution. God will deal with cities of the world this way or that way. This is a time like that. So please be sharp in the supernatural.